Some things will always be true. The sun will rise in the east, and sadly, we will lose those we love. The sun's gonna come up over those clouds. Every morning for the past four years, Mark Potter has captured Mother Nature's glorious curtain raiser. But his is a much deeper personal and relatable journey. The sunrise is therapy for Mark. Before, a way to cope with his wife, Judith's cancer. Now, a way to remember her loss. I'm looking at this beautiful sunrise, and I'm just wondering, are you, as you snap each picture, thinking of Judith? She's the reason that I'm here. In the course of cancer care, I started to become exhausted. I started, I got overtired, anxious, fearful that I was losing my wife. And my wife suggested, if you're gonna survive this cancer that you're trying to help me with, you need to get out of the house every so often. If Mark's name and face are familiar, that's because before he was enveloped by this serenity. Much of the violence here in Juarez can be attributed to a turf war between rival drug cartels. He was on the front lines of some of the world's ugliest violence as a correspondent for NBC News. Almost immediately after he retired in 2016, doctors diagnosed his wife Judith with ovarian cancer. Sunrise was the only time I had during cancer care. I had to be done by 8 o'clock in the morning with everything so I could begin a 14-hour of cancer care. But the sunrise itself was also healing. Symbolically for me, it was a new beginning. It was a chance to start over, a chance to see something beautiful every day. It was the start of my path toward healing. Unexpected was how these photos were not only medicine for him, but for many others who followed his sunrise journey on Facebook and Instagram. And that's the part that really healed me. When people started responding to my photographs, telling me that they made them feel better. From social media, to the Miami hospital where his wife was treated, to now a book in the pages of Sunrise, a book dedicated to Judith. Mark writes, the sun will always rise, no matter how we feel or what we have done the night before. And when it does, the darkness becomes light. I never, never get tired of it. Never get tired of it. This is Mark's favorite. The sun is rising with two ibis in flight. I called it, it's always good to have a wingman, mm -hmm. but you know, that's Judith and me. That's a bittersweet photo, but that's a favorite. For today, Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Miami. It is heartbreaking to think of Mark's loss, but so beautiful. For those of us who've worked with Mark, we've learned so much from him, and now we've learned something else, how to deal with loss in such a graceful way. And what a beautiful tribute that last photo there got me. I mean, just It really beautiful. does. Yeah, incredible. All right, well, our thanks to Carrie for that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.